Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite's WeCommerce My Account. In this video, we will explain how a customer uses the My Account self-service capabilities. Starting on the WeCommerce My Account home screen, I will log in as Smith Supplies. The Overview tab provides visibility into each of my invoices, as well as the payment status of each. I can also drill into the invoices individually if I need more detail. The Purchase History tab displays all purchases that Smith Supplies has made, as well as the order status of each. I can also view tracking information for each of my orders here as well. For Sales Order 699, I can see when and where this order was shipped, as well as access a link to track the order. I can also see the individual line items from this order and details of each. If I need to return a purchase, I can initiate a return request by clicking the Request to Return button here. On the Quotes tab, I see all my existing quotes as well as the status of each. If I drill into quote EST17, I can convert it to a sales order by clicking on Review and Place Order here. On the account balance tab of the billing section, I see my outstanding balance as well as available spend, both of which are updated in real time from the NetSuite ERP. I can also view any existing deposits or credits that I can apply to invoices as well as my account terms. Next on the invoices tab, I see the invoices that I have incurred along with the invoice amount for each as well as the due date. I can filter for invoices that are either open or paid in full using the buttons at the top. I can also use sorting to sort the list of invoices by different characteristics, such as by due date or by amount due. To make a payment, I can select a specific invoice or multiple invoices and then click on the make a payment button. For this example, I will pay off invoice 172. The make a payment screen shows me the invoices that I've selected to pay off. I can choose to pay off the whole invoice amount or indicate a different amount that I want to pay. On the payment and review screen, I can pay with a credit card that I have stored in my account or I can add a new credit card. I can also give a final review of any invoices I have selected to pay off before clicking submit. Clicking on the back to invoices button takes us back to the invoices tab. My account no longer shows invoice 172 on the open tab because we just paid it off. The Transaction History tab shows all the transactions that I have incurred. I can use date and type filters at the top to filter for specific transactions. Under the Print a Statement tab, I can generate a copy of my billing statement and email it or download a PDF version to print. SweetCommerce My Account also allows me to manage various user settings and preferences without having to contact customer service for help. Under the settings tab, I can update settings such as my contact information, my payment methods, or change my password. If I have a question about an order or how to use a product, or if a product I received is damaged, I can submit questions or issues via a case. Cases go directly to the customer service support desk in the NetSuite ERP. I can also track the status of existing cases or respond to cases on the support cases tab. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.